back here at our Lake Vernon project. A lot of progress is happening. Um, most of the progress is on the inside, which we'll see in a moment. Uh, but the outside is about to start. We have some of the soffits and some of the fascias that are going on and some more exterior detailing that's happening. So we're going to walk around and show you some things and stay tuned for that. As you can see here, there's been a little bit of development since we were here last. We have some wall finishing. We have the start of the kitchen cabinets. Our fireplace is going in. Lots happening here. Uh, we'll give you a quick little tour around. Still lots to happen, but I think this is kind of a cool place to be at where you, know, you can see some of the progress. Over here at the fireplace, uh, from the start, we've actually wanted to do a really cool steel deal till with this fireplace. So you can't really see too much right now, but um, if you look beyond the plastic, there is a little bit of steel going in. So stay tuned for more development on that. Coming down the hallway here, we have our stairwell on the right here, and you can see this gorgeous piece of glass that the client uh, had done with the treescape. Um, and then over on the left here, we have our mud room and the cabinetry, as you can see, is starting to go in on that. And then we have our powder room down here. Coming into our main bedroom here, uh, again, you can see there's a lot of finishing that's happened. We have our exposed beam in black up on the ceiling. We have our beautiful room here in white and obviously the, the gorgeous view towards the lake. In our ensuite here, we actually did something a little bit different. Um, instead of the traditional double sink, we actually did a his and her sink on either side of the room. Uh, big shower over here, um, a little water closet nook back here, and then a, there'll be a tub location here. We're over here in our sunroom on this side of the glass, and last time we were here, obviously, you couldn't see this glass, but now you can really see this. And it, it's kind of cool because it, it actually creates a bit of opaqueness between the living area and the sunroom but still lets a lot of that light to filter through these spaces. We're over here in front of our main bedroom um, on, the, on this deck and we have above us this gorgeous wood soffits. And I just want to draw attention to the cool venting detail the contractor did. We have a, cool, a couple cool venting details, but the contractor uh, held the vent back. Um, and I just want to give uh, kudos out to Josh and his team for um, the gorgeous details in this project because that just looks incredible. So I'm excited to see how the rest of the building comes along. So over on this side, we have a, a bit more of an exposed face. It's a bit longer. So you can kind of see up there, we have a metal bracket sticking out and there's a little bit of a bump uh, further down. And we're actually gonna have a metal canopy sticking out here to help not necessarily water, but help drive sun away from this main living area. We're back down in the basement of our, our Lake Vernon project. Uh, our bar kitchenette kind of area here is done. Um, the room is getting close to being done. Um, everything is really starting to finish up here. Uh, we're in our soon to be stairwell area. Um, we obviously saw it from above just a few moments ago, but you can really see the size and the scale of that piece of glass above. So down in the basement, we have one bathroom servicing four bedrooms. And so we've done a bit of a sports bathroom here. So we have a, a water closet room over here. We have a separate shower over here. And uh, you can see this beautiful double vanity. In the shower, uh, we have a pretty simple shower, but you can see we have the rain head above. Uh, you can see on the floor, we have a really cool linear drain and just gives the appearance that there almost isn't a drain in the shower. Coming down to the end of the hallway, we have one of our bedrooms and this is probably maybe one of two of the coolest bedrooms in the basement. This one I think in particular is nice because it has windows going in both sides. But really what I want to draw attention to in this room is the floor. We, we actually did a grinded etch on the floor. And so we poured our concrete floor like we would typically do in most homes, but we actually grinded down the surface to expose the aggregate. And, and, and then that ends up actually being the final floor finish. Um, it, it actually is a very reasonably priced floor finish. It's a little bit difficult to do, and the process is a little bit difficult, but I mean, it, it actually is quite gorgeous. And in a room, especially in a bedroom like this, what we would typically do is put an area rug to help kind of warm up the room. But I, I don't know, I personally love the look of that floor. Thanks again for watching this video. I just want to give a big shout out to the contractors, Vertex Custom Carpentry. Josh and his team have done such an amazing job with this build. And also thanks out to all the rest of the uh, trades that have been involved in this project. So. Really looking forward to seeing uh, the progress as it continues to, to move along and uh, we'll stay tuned for another video with more stuff finished.